Hi guys, now many of you might have seen the new truck I've been working on in the uh, the battle report. I've done some more work to it, so uh, this is that video showing you guys. Where I right, and here she is. I think it's a she. Anyway, so um, yeah, so work since last video. You've, you'll see I've noticed. You'll see. You'll notice I've uh, been doing some work to the back of the cab there. Um, just getting the flooring in. That's going to need some bolts and things to make it look all awesome. Uh, I need to do the sides up here as well. Of course, I've now fitted the engines a bit better. And one of the overriding features of the whole vehicle now, as you'll probably have noticed, is the exhaust. Now we've got two at the sides. We've got two in the middle here, and we've got two in the center. Oh, we've got a wheel off. Just like back to the old videos of wheels flying off vehicles as I'm showing them to people. Um, we've also got these barrels here. These are the old barrels I made that I got cast up and they're held on by these straps. I need to do some more work to that. Uh, so I'm just going to pull it apart basically and give you an idea of what's going on. So we've got the top here. Now this has got these two exhausts here. I really like the, the look of that. It adds a bit of detail to the middle there where I'm going to be covering up with uh, basic panelling essentially. We've got a tube that goes to nowhere that I can spin it like that on. Who doesn't like to spin it? Then we've got the two engines. Everyone's familiar with those. And the inside of this thing. Here we go. So I've made myself a little platform for the engines to sit on here. Uh, there's a little bit there for the backs of the engines. This bit here to sit on. Um, and then we've got a little bit of pipe work that goes between the two engines. As you can see there and then these two exhausts coming off the top looks awesome I think well I'm not sure if it looks awesome but it looks orky that's for sure so you've got those two stacks there really basic work um, thin tube up to that point thicker tube here with the, 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 holes, the holes drilled in and the whole thing is nice and sturdy you can ping them all as much as you like and they are not coming off sorry about the noise of this scratching backwards and forwards on the on the table guys Oh, we've lost another wheel. So we are completely wheelless on this side now. Just pop that back on. Feeling a bit strange in today's video, if you hadn't uh, noticed. Um, but yeah, so it's coming together nicely. The whole thing sort of comes together like this. And of course, the engines, if I can fit them in, because they don't, now that I've put the, uh, the exhausts in the middle, they don't necessarily go back as you would expect. No, there we go. And so it's awkward as hell to put back together again, but hopefully it's coming together nicely. And it's got a little bit of detail there between the engines, giving an idea that um, they are connected in some way to each other, even if they're just sharing the central um, exhausts between the two engines. Not sure if I need to put another exhaust on the side here. Um, let me know what you think, guys. That's basically it comes out of those holes there and then branches off but yeah I'm, I'm I'm liking the way this is coming out and you can fit a lot of uh, orkies in the back there wheel off again I'm gonna have to glue these wheels on eventually guys I refuse to do it before I'm ready um, with with these how they are loads more detailing to do we've got holes to cover patches to cover up here there's a big hole in the top of the roof there I'm thinking I'm gonna do a small platform here uh, for the orc to stand on who's gonna have a shooter off the side there main reason for that is because I need to have him tall enough. Um, this is a little bit too tall and I'm thinking of using one of my standard shooters that I got cast up and basically having it there. And then I can swap that out for different weapons if I have some sort of mounting system. I can put lifter dropper things and wrecking balls and all that sort of gorkamorka goodness into, into the vehicle setup. I also need some boarding ramp magnetization somewhere across the back here on both sides. That'll be pretty cool. Right, so that's it really. Sorry the video's gone on a bit long. Uh, I'm, yeah, there's a lot done to this <laughs> and I'm liking the way that it's coming out. It's, it's looking nice and mean at the front. I like the front especially. Look at that. Looks a bit like a warthog, which is pretty cool. Right, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry this has gone on a bit. Oh, look. Look, wallpaper. How awesome is that? <laughs> uh, i still got loads to do. I, I've got more than enough wallpaper to, to do the sides as well, so I need to sort out that back there. But anyway, 
yeah, that's all I want to show you guys really. And um, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well.